All right. I wanted to show everybody my junk mini because um, I'm not sure. I won't post it until after she's received it and hopefully Tamara can make a video of her own. But if she doesn't, because I noticed she doesn't have any videos on, I wanted to show off this one. This is uh, my little gnome mini. It's for the Flower Frenzy Mini. And what I did was I cut out chipboard in the shape of this little guy, the garden gnome. And that's from Freshly Picked off my Cricut machine. So I did the little gnome on the front. And inside, it's the Flower Frenzy Junk Mini. And I've made all these flowers just with paper. And some of them are fabric, but most of them are paper. Um, on this page, I put a little pocket with an Easter egg, chocolate Easter egg, a spot to put a photo and some journaling. On this page, uh, choose to what choose, choose to do what makes you grow. This is from my Stampin' Up collection, so sweet. Another little tag. A spot for a photo on the back. Isn't this cute? It's before baubles came out, but this is a little spring. Makes them move. A little tag with a photo spot. Uh, sing with the birds. one don't let little things bug you so my lollipop flowers and my little bug he's so cute <laughs> so and I made her a couple of extra pages that I will send with it in case she wants to add a few more pages to it isn't that cute his little bottom <laughs> I just did everything in reverse <laughs> he's so cute there's some really cute things on Freshly Picked, so I wanted to show you all what I did. And uh, come and join Junk Mini. It is so much fun just using up all your scraps. I have bags and bags and bags of scraps, so I have so much fun using them up because it's a challenge to me. So come and join us. Thanks. Come and watch us on um, Your Paper Pantry. Dot ning dot com. It's so much fun. This is how I keep all my scraps. I put them in colors and I put them into big Ziploc baggies and keep them all here so when I'm looking for a certain color these are all my cut pieces of paper that I've used on my Cricut over months and months and I have that's my holding space but over here is my bucket that I throw them into after I've cut them out and on a rainy day when I'm not feeling like scrapbooking, I take those and I cut all the usable spots and put them into these bags. But uh, yeah, so I, that's when I get to use all this stuff is when I do it this way. So have fun. Talk to you later. Bye.